the area was settled by English and German families. In fact, there were seven wineries in this village alone before the turn of the century. You can imagine they were very much like this, a little building, crushed some grapes, made some wine. It was very much a cottage industry. Our ancestors arrived in 1841. Um, his name was Johann Christian Hinchke and bought this property here around about the sort of late 50s, early 1860s. And then the first wines were sold in about 1868. And I guess um, my ancestor must have been a pretty good winemaker because you know, the, it's kept going and we've continued right through to today. Why I'm using native grasses, and I think this is where we really need to use our landscape, an Australian landscape more in our agriculture, is because they have so many advantages. Native grasses actually go into dormancy before the vine even flowers, so we've got that fall off in moisture usage. It's a fantastic synergy that we, we should be using more of our native species. Today is a fruit day, so all wines should taste really good today. <laughs> Hill of Grace is actually a little bit restrained, it's a little bit more deep and dark and mysterious, but it's got that lovely pie spice. And every time you smell it, you smell something different. There's a huge amount of complexity. So when you smell this, just close your eyes and think, think about standing in the vineyard and, and it all just comes together in, in the picture. It's, you can smell those lovely old sculptures when you smell this wine. It's nice to invite you to, to come here and just try and understand a little bit about what we do in our corner of the world. We hope to spend many more occasions with you in the future.